a net would set her free. After Jackson was shipwrecked, he found himself on a deserted island. Luckily, he still had his pills with him. There are two blue pills and two red ones. He needs to take exactly one red pill and one blue pill. But Jackson is blind and doesn't know which one is which. There's not a soul around to help him. How can he manage it? Oh, just take two um, on the side. Oh yeah, let's do that. Jackson should break each of the four pills into half and eat four halves of each. This way, he'll exactly eat one red and one blue one. It should be in the um, last and two mm, five. So two zero five, boom. Two zero five, I think. Patricia managed to crack the code. The number was two. Yes. Seven. She was oh. nervous, but still dialed it. Different objects lying on top of it. Find the answer to the riddle and choose the correct object, the same synthetic voice said. It's hard when it's dry and soft and smooth when it's wet. What is it? Oh, the sponge! The sponge! Yeah, it's sponge. Patricia guessed pretty fast that the object she needed was a sponge. She picked it up and put it into her pocket. Now, Patricia needed to get out of there. She noticed a door in the left corner of the room. It was locked, but there was a panel with several buttons on the wall all next to it. On each button, there was a picture. Suddenly, the boy said, I'm very large, but I look very small. Once night falls, I'm admired by many. What am I? Star. Patricia pressed the button with oh, a yeah, star God. on it. The door God. here on the screen was a detective one. The police knocked on Dylan's door late in the evening. They had a search warrant. They accused the guy of stealing a big sum of money from a bank. Dylan claimed that he hadn't left the house all day. One of the police officers searched around his living room. What evidence did the police find that led to the man's arrest? Jeremy Steve. Jeremy Steve, yeah. Hey, why are you talking to me? <laughs> The date on the receipt lying on the table. It is the same as the date on the calendar, which means the guy did lie about not leaving his house that day. Under her feet gave way. She was falling in the darkness until, ow, the sun was too bright. The girl found herself on the beach. You have to find something and give it to somebody, the voice said. Patricia started looking around and spotted a watch in the sand. Besides her, there were only three other people on the beach. Who did the watch belong to? The grandpa. The grandpa. Where was that? This guy's watch is in his jeans pocket. The tan line on this girl's wrist doesn't match the shape of the watch. It means the watch belongs to this elderly man. Patricia gave him the watch and, in return, received two photos. Find three differences between these pictures, the voice instructed her. In the second picture, it looks quite sad. And the sea stars are different colors. Suddenly, a guy ran up to Patricia. He said one of his friends had stolen his smartphone. They were all camping on the beach, and each of them had their own tent. The guy, named Lucas, woke up early and went for a swim. When he came back, his phone was gone. Patricia questioned Lucas's friends. George said he woke up very early, too. 
But he was staying in his tent talking to his girlfriend. Liza said she had stayed up late playing a game on her phone. That's why she had just woken up. Kira also claimed that she had been fast asleep when Lucas went swimming. Who took the guy's phone? It was Kira. Yes. If she was asleep, how did she know when Lucas went swimming? 